happy halloween everyone welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so today this is gonna be our last halloween nail set because it's the last day of october so for this nail set i was inspired by one of the press on nail sets that i've made this nail set was not my idea i did find this nail set on pinterest and i just recreated it here it is they just remind me of like vampires i really love this design it's just so cute and by the way here is the press on nail box that i got from amazon and it's so cute i said in one of my last videos that i was thinking about doing like press on nail giveaway i still haven't forgotten about that i definitely still want to do a giveaway let me know your thoughts on the nails and everything for this nail set that we're gonna do today though i was inspired by this and also this nail set i like this design a lot but i don't want to do purple because i just did that karomi nail set which was purple so we're gonna switch it up basically everything that's purple in this nail set i'm gonna make it red and add in some of this blood ombre looking design in there so that is what i want to do today for the last halloween nail set of the season this year so what we're going to need for these nails is a nude poly gel i'm using this one from mccart don't really know how to pronounce it so i'm not even gonna try we're gonna need this for the base of the nails next we're going to need some gel polishes we're going to need black and also i have these two red colors here so this one's like a really dark red but it's more more on the brown side I feel like so I'm gonna mix it with some of this more bright red just to make it more of like a mix between these two colors and then for the designs and nail art we're gonna use some blooming gel because I am going to switch out one of the nails to a croc print nail and also some rhinestone glue for the 3d nail art that we're gonna add and finally some nail charms this nail charm container that I got is literally amazing I definitely recommend it's so nice to just pull this thing Thing out and just be able to see all the charms I have but we are going to use this skeleton nail charm and also this hand nail charm and I think I'm gonna use one from this little container I have either this cross with the red gem in it or this moon dripping one with the red gem so that is pretty much everything we're going to need for the nail set and let's just get right into it okay so here are my natural nails they really don't need nail prep because I just did nails on them so the only thing I'm gonna do is take a fine grit sanding band and I'm going to file over the nails I'm trying to get around the cuticle area kind of because there's like a lot of leftover product from when I last did them. so that's all i'm gonna do for nail prep and we're just gonna get straight into putting on these nail tips okay so if you are normally doing your nails and you want them to last super long make sure that you use a regular nail glue when gluing on the nail tips i've just been using this mccart nail glue because it's the only one that i have right now and i think it works pretty well and that'll help the nails last much longer but because i don't want these to last that long i'm just going to glue on the tips with some base coat Okay, so the tips are glued on. Now I'm going to trim them down. Okay, next I'm going to shape the nails a little bit. Okay, and now I'm just going to remove the shine from the nail tips and I'm just going to use my hand file. Okay, so all the nail tips are done. Next thing we're gonna do is add on a layer of base coat over the nails. Okay, so let's get into this poly gel application. So I'm just gonna start with a big bead of poly gel on the nail and I'm going to start by pushing this back towards the cuticle area.
Okay, so around the cuticle area, you just want to try and make the poly gel pretty thin. You kind of want to put your brush at this angle going on the nail, and that way it'll thin out the poly gel closest to the skin, and then that'll make the poly gel look really seamless. And then next, you also want to drag the poly gel to the sides of the nail, and then that's when you can start focusing on the tip of the nail. To do the tip, I just spread out this poly gel, and I make sure that it covers the entire tip, because once you have all the poly gel covering everything, that that's when you can focus on smoothing it out after. So here you can see it looks very lumpy, but the whole nail is covered. Um, so that's when I'm gonna start smoothing it out. So I just start on the sides of the nail and I drag all the excess to the tip. I kind of do that same motion that I'm doing on the sides and I do it over the entire tip of the nail, making sure not to really touch this area because this is where your apex is. Mine isn't really looking too good right now, but I'm gonna fix it. So I'm just gonna do this same emotion over the entire tip all the way until the other side. And you just wanna be really gentle with this. You're not trying to drag off all the poly gel. So right now, this little corner of my nail is looking really thin. So I'm gonna try and drag some of this poly gel that's on this side, and I'm gonna try and drag it to this really thin side. So all I'm gonna do is tap and slightly drag the poly gel from the one side to the thin side. That way I can get a little bit more thickness over there so right now i don't really have that much poly gel on this nail but i'm trying to keep it thinner so right now the apex is not really looking too good so to fix that i'm gonna work backwards so i'm gonna be dragging poly gel back onto the nail starting at the tip and then pushing everything right where the apex is supposed to be so i'm just starting at the tip and just dragging backwards you can do this kind of at any time you don't have to do it like right now at the current state of the nail this is just how i'm doing it and as you can see we have poly gel building up in the right spot and then i'm going to smooth this out because it looks like just a point right here so i'm going to tap that backwards just to blend it in and make it look a bit smoother still tapping everything towards the cuticle area now that we're at this stage of the nail i'm still looking at the nail and it still looks pretty lumpy so this is when i'm going to take off all the excess that has been building up at the tip of the nail and this is going to give you like the true representation of how your nails are actually looking because sometimes all that extra at the tip it makes the nail look Look more lumpy than it actually is because now look once i took all that off now my nail looks really nice and crisp so all i'm gonna do is some finishing touches get any poly gel that might have went underneath the nail so the nail is pretty thin but i think i'm gonna keep it like this if you don't want your nails to be this thin you can always go on top with another layer after you cure this first layer but i think i'm just going to leave it like this and i'm going to do that same process for the rest of the nails i'm gonna try and be super quick i'm just trying to work on my speed a little bit so that way I don't take too many hours on the nails.
Okay, so we're done with the poly gel application. Now we are going to get reshaping them. I have my McCart dust collector and a hand file. And yeah, let's just get shaping these nails. Okay, so all the nails are shaped and we're going to get into the nail art now. So we're going to start by doing all the bases of the nails. So for the thumb and the pinky nail, it's going to be a black French tip. For the middle finger, it's going to be a red French tip. For the pointer finger, I'm going to make this a full black nail. You know what? I actually kind of messed up now that I'm thinking about it. This nail design has airbrush and I didn't want to do airbrush because I just don't feel like messing with the airbrush. So I was supposed to make that airbrush nail with the giant skeleton on it. I was supposed to make it this like ombre design from the black to the red to the clear but this nail is not clear so I totally even didn't even realize what I'm gonna try and do instead is maybe make it an ombre instead of having like this clear tip it'll just be from black to red that's what we're gonna have to do unfortunately that's not really what I wanted I totally just didn't even think about that first off the easiest one is painting the pointer finger black because I'm gonna do red cross print over it. Next, I'm going to do the thumbnail and the pinky nail and make those black French tips. Ryan, 
Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do now is the red French tip on the middle finger. So I'm gonna mix together a darker red color. This one's just too bright red for what I want. I think I might add a little bit more of this brighter red. Okay, so I think this is a pretty good dark red color. So I'm just going to paint the French tip on the middle nail. Okay, so for the middle finger, I wanna do a black to red ombre. So I do have this ombre brush. I did use this brush when I first got it and I was really not good at it. I just didn't get how to use it. Nothing's really changed. I don't really know if I could really pull this off, but um, let's hope. I'm wondering, should I paint a layer first on the nail of one color and then just ombre the other color on there? I think I'm gonna do a full coat of black. I hope I don't mess this up. If, if I do, then we'll just have to change the nail. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do an ombre here. For the press on nails that I made, to do the ombre that I did, I used base coat. I kind of blended in the colors using the base coat. I think I'm gonna try that now and hope it works. Like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. It's kind of working, kind of. I did the ombre. I, I feel like it looks really good. I really didn't know what I was doing, but I think it turned out pretty well. Basically what I did was I put on half of the nail red and then I put base coat on the other half and just started blending them together, dragging the red up into the base coat, dragging the base coat down into the red. You know, I had to do it a couple of times to try and make the ombre look how I wanted it to. I'm sure there's like a technique to use with this brush, but I didn't really feel like looking it up. So if you guys want to leave it in the comments, that'd be really helpful. The next thing I'm going to do is the crock print on the pointer finger so i'm just going to paint on a layer of blooming gel this blooming gel is super thick so i'm going to try and keep this layer really thin okay and now i'm just going to take my nail art brush and start drawing lines down the middle very quickly because this is going to spread and then i'm going to do lines on the side Wow, looks really nice. I'm letting it spread out a little bit. I don't know if it looks kind of subtle on camera, but I feel like it looks much brighter in person. So I'm going to cure this. I think this is like the first time ever that I've done crock print and got it right on the first try. Normally I'm wiping it off and retrying. I feel like putting on the design with the brush makes it easier. Okay, so the nails are definitely coming together now. The next thing we're gonna do is the outline for the French tips and also the blood drips. One thing I like about this blood drip design is that they look really realistic like they're squiggly and I also like that they're coming out of the cuticle area too. So I'm just going to use the red that we've been using. I think I might add a little bit more of this bright red to it because I want it to stand out a little more against the black. I'm going to start with the outline.
Okay, so pretty much all of the nail art is done. The next thing I'm gonna do is the charms. So I'm gonna use rhinestone glue to adhere all the charms. All right, so for the ombre nail, I'm going to put a huge amount of rhinestone glue right down the middle because this is where the skeleton is going. And then I'm going to paint on a layer of top coat right over that. So for the pinky and the thumb, these nails are going to be matte, but I'm going to go over the red with top coat to make the red shiny. So I have my matte top coat here. Make sure that if you're using matte top coat to wipe off your design, because as you can see, some residue does come off of the gel polish. And if you just put matte top coat over the design without wiping it, you'll see all of the streaks from the color in the top coat. Just always remember to wipe these off. nail set feels like a never-ending nail set there's just always something next but the next thing i'm gonna do finally top coat all the red nail art the nails are done. Finally, we're just going to add on some cuticle oil. And here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. Okay, so I really love these nails. I think they turned out so good. I did like the purple original design, but like I said before, I already did the Kuromi nail set, so that was already purple, and I just wanted to do red. I wanted this like vampire type of look, and I think it turned out so good. Oh, by the way, I said that I was gonna do 3D nail art with the rhinestone glue, and that was supposed to be for these drips, but instead I just used top coat, and I just made sure to pile on a really thick amount onto the drips so that way they would look more 3D and it was much easier than getting out the whole rhinestone glue and stuff. So let me just give you a nail tour. For the pointer finger, this one is a croc print nail with a black base and red croc print. And then I put two charms on here because the cross charm that I originally wanted, it was just too small. It didn't stand out enough. So I think these two go really well with it with the red gem and these like bat wings. And then for the middle finger, it's a red French tip with that hand charm. The ring finger is the ombre that basically got covered up, so I really shouldn't have worried about it too much and spent as much time as I did on it, but I did. I was trying to make it actually look good, but it didn't really matter because here we are with the skeleton charm covering it all up. And then for the pinky nail, it is a blood drip French tip with a matte base, the shiny red nail art, and I really love this design. The whole set of just this nail would be so cool as well. And then 
and the thumb is the same thing. So that was my nail tour. That's how the nails turned out. I'm super happy with them and I'm really excited that I actually get to wear them and enjoy them because I didn't put on a peel off base coat so I'm stuck with them for at least a few days. <laughs> But yeah, this was our final Halloween nail set and that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I will talk to you all next time. Bye!